Well, this year is 9.86. That's the time that they have to beat. There's the lineup. Kittens of Barbados, Freighter of Jamaica. Oh, he's a veteran. Powell of Jamaica, Bolt of Jamaica, Blake of Jamaica, Bailey Cole of Jamaica. Oh my God, Simbina must feel a long way from home. <laughs> he's from South Africa. And Nickel Ashmead of Jamaica is in lane eight. Fireworks are promised and fireworks will be delivered. Michael Freighter. Again, one of those favorites, one of those journeymen, one of those people who have delivered for Jamaica over and over and over again, and he's still in it. He is actually an executive member of the J3As. Yeah, that's the governing body for athletics in Jamaica. There is Michael Freighter. He will run in lane two tonight. There is Nickel Ashmead. Ashmead has made Jamaican teams in both the 100 meters and the 200 meters and he is still the fastest Jamaican over 200 meters this year at 20.07. But he'll also remember that four years ago he missed the Olympic team and he's going to be thinking of a way that he can book his ticket to Rio one way or another this time around. There's Kamar Bailey Cole. One thing I like about this kid is that whenever there is a lot on the line he usually runs his best. One at the Jamaica International Invitational at 10.01. And he looks focused for what will be a big race tonight. He's also the Commonwealth champion in the 100 meters. Indeed he is. I'm going to go through the lineup. Roman Gittens of Barbados, slowest in the field at 10.02 goes in one. And remember Obadeli Thompson also of Barbados, who is still the national record holder for Barbados. Michael Freiter goes in two. World Championship silver in the 100 meters all the way back in 2005. That's 11 years ago when Michael Freight was on top of the world in sprinting. He finished second behind Justin Gatlin. And a cold night in Helsinki, Finland, when Trisha Smith also won triple jump gold. Asafa Powell goes in three. 9.72. He's probably more famous for his multiple 9.77 times when he was breaking the world record. Many people said he started it and made everyone in Jamaica believe Asafa Powell, crowd favorite. He's probably more famous for taking off his shirt tonight. <laughs> he goes in lane three. <laughs> On the outside of Asafa Powell, there he is, sweating. Usain Bolt, he goes in lane four. He has done it all. 958, 1919, 30.97 records in everything else touched. World junior record holder to this day. He has done it on the greatest track and field athlete in the history of the world. Blake has sat on the sidelines for the last two years and watched fast races. He says he's just happy to be back in a race that is set to be fast. 9.69, the second fastest man in history, the second fastest Jamaican in history. Johan Blake, a very special talent, the youngest world champion in the history of the 100 meters. Commonwealth champion, had a great 2014, including after the Commonwealth Games. According to Usain Bolt, Kemar Bailey Cole is the next big thing in the 100 meters. If Usain Bolt says it, I believe it. Still young. Here is uh, Akane Simbine of South Africa. He has already run 996 this year. Second fastest in the world this year in this race. Beat Kemar Brown at the World University Games last year. He's the World University Games champion and Ashmin goes in lane 8. Nikhil Ashmead is a sub-10 and sub-20 man for Jamaica Trains in Florida, out in lane 8, knows that this race is a big, big preview for the National Championships of Jamaica, the Olympic Trials, June 30th to July 3rd. Everybody in the stadium is now standing. Will the sub-10 king run another sub-10 race right now? I think everyone, even watching on television, watching on onespotmedia.com, Listening on radio is standing right now. <laughs> the men's 100 meters. Gittins, Freighter, Powell, Bolt, Blake, Bailey Cole, Simbine, and Ashmead. There's Usain Bolt. World lead at this point, 986 by Jimmy Bicot. Does that go down? Jimmy Bicot of France. Set. Away they go. Paul Dilling on a bad start. He slips though. Asafa Paul got up well. Johan Blake is there. Usain Bolt tries to pull through. Usain Bolt ahead of Asafa Paul and Johan Blake. 9-9-0. Oh, Bolt made that look pretty easy, <laughs> didn't he?
team. Blake was well beaten. I think Blake got second and Powell third. Bailey Cole, I think, finished fast as well. But you said bought me that look rather easy. When you're the fastest man in the world, you're allowed to fall three times and still win. Usain Bolt, 988, sub 9.90, the second fastest time in the world this year. And what he a fabulous, fabulous recovery. But, I mean, how do you recover in 100 meters? Well, I think side? one thing that we've learned from that race is that Usain Bolt is in fantastic form. Amazing form. He stumbled and nearly fell and then said, you know what, forget the drive phase. I'm just going into my full out acceleration and he went for it and he won 988 second fastest time in the world we'll have to sort out what happened behind him because that finish was amazing yeah he responded to the gun well but then slipped and held his composure brilliantly here's a look at it response to the gun but then slips Powell is running well Blake is there running well but look at the ease at which Bolt pulls through the field gets to the front on the outside, Ashmead runs well, I think, got second. Second, yeah. One, two, three, four for Jamaica. Uh -huh. Look at Safa Powell leading at this point. We have four men sub-10 in this race. Look at Usain Bolt. Oh, and he stops at the finish line. Yeah. He so stops. Look at that. 988 for Bolt. Ashmead, 994. That's only four one hundred. So outside his personal best. Blake, 994, a season's best. Asafa Powell fourth, 998, also a, a season's, season's best. best, but how will it affect his confidence that he was fourth? He's going to have a lot to think about before the Olympic trials. Bailey Cole fifth, season's best, 10 seconds flat. Simbina, season's best, 1001. Gittens, 1003, just outside his personal best. And Michael Freighter, 1004, a uh, season's amazing best. Amazing race. That is amazing quality. The wind, by the way, was legal, positive 1.0. Let me tell you, when you run 10.04 and come 8th, you know you're flying Michael Freighter. He too is back. That is only supposed to happen in the Olympic final. 10.04. I mean, we're yet to see 9 or 8 people sub 10 in a race. We almost saw it right here in Kingston, Jamaica. Amazing running. Usain Bolt sent a shot across the world. The entire world is going to see that race. They're going to know that he struggled at the start, and they're going to know he ran 9.88. There is confirmation of the results, and a confirmation of the magnificent form that Usain Bolt is in. And I tell you what, on the evidence of that, we may not have any drama like we have <laughs> what we had leading into Beijing last year. You know, but now let's let's think about it as you say both speaks into the camera. Only the top three at the Olympic trials represent Jamaica in the one hundred meters.